Good morning, this is Wayne Bilal with another Smart Profit Maximizer moment. I shouldn't say good morning because I don't know when you're going to watch this. I do these every day at 8.45. Um, you can find us at the Small Profit Maximizer Facebook page. Um, just look for Wayne Belisle and then look for the page or um, Smart Profit Maximizing Facebook page. Um, we're going to talk today about developing an exit strategy, which is what I meant by always start with the finish line in sight. But first, let me do a better job of introducing myself. My name is Wayne Belisle. I'm the founder of a local CPA firm in El Paso, Texas, um, phew, since 1991, a long time ago. We've helped thousands of business owners make more money, as simply as that, and keep more of their own money, truthfully. Um, passed the CPA exam in the late 70s, so I've been doing this a long time. I expect to do it as God will, and people ask me when I'm going to retire, when God tells me I have to. Um, I enjoy what I do, so I don't, <laughs> this is my hobby. Um, we really focus on three things. I'm the creator of the Smart Profit Maximizing System, which is designed to help business owners jumpstart their profits and put more money in their, in their pockets and, you know, get as much out of their business as they can in profit. Uh, and that's what part of these videos are about, you know, to educate our clients, you know, as much as possible. We've been doing these since early January, sometime in January this year, so there's a ton of videos out there covering a wild, wide, wild, a wide range of uh, topics. So go back and watch them, see which one applies to you. It's a lot of good information in there, trust me. Oh, two weeks from yesterday, August 8th, we're going to have our Smart Profit Challenge, which is where we're going to start the Smart Profit System and teach you the Smart Profit System so that you learn how to jumpstart your business and, and mind and transform your business into a money-making machine. We're really going to show you how. And it's five days, and the material is up there only until the following Wednesday, so the material's only up for 10 days, I guess, and then it disappears. And there's a reason for that, is to make sure that you do the work. Second thing we focus on is tax planning, so that we, you know, help you reduce your taxes. In the last three years alone, we've helped our clients reduce their taxes by $4.3 million, which is $4.3 million that they were able to stick in their own pockets, that they were able to uh, fund their retirement, buy a vacation home, pay off debt, send the kids to college, pay off student loans, reinvest in their business, and make more money, hopefully. Hopefully they did some of that, which I know they did. All right, and the third thing, obviously, is we do tax returns. It's as simple as that. Um, we do them in a, we try our best to do them in a way that doesn't attract attention. Not always possible, but we know what we're doing. Been doing it, like I said, forever, <laughs> for almost forever. Let's talk about the exit strategy. You wouldn't think of, you know, when I say always start with the finish line in sight. You're gonna get on a road trip and you're gonna drive from El Paso to Phoenix. You know which way you're gonna go. You're gonna go west. You're not gonna just start driving and hope you end up there. All right. Um, you're going to have a, a plan to get there, all right? I always say if I have to get to San Diego, which is a 12-hour drive, 10 to 12-hour drive, if I need to get there now, I'm going to use a plane. I could, Otherwise, I can drive. You know, there's different things I can do based on what my timeline is, all right? Um, an exit strategy, I, very few, is, let's back up a minute. What I've seen when I talk to businesses, 99% of them don't have, don't know where they're going. They don't know what the end is. They come in tomorrow, they open the business, they do what they need to do, and that's it, okay? An exit strategy is not a plan for failure, it's a plan for success. Developing an exit strategy when you open your business will enable you to make the best decisions. The choices you make today will be much different if you know your exit strategy is to sell your business in 10 years, in which case all your decisions will be made based on get, increasing the value of your business so that when you sell, you get the most you can. Different exit strategy if the idea is to run, you know, create a business that's going to stay in the family and pass on to future generations, different sort of goals. Or another goal might be, I'm just gonna work, you know, as long as I can. And then, you know, I wanna create a business that gives me a comfortable lifestyle, but doesn't dominate my business. It doesn't dominate my life. You know, I wanna have a life, all right? So look, there is no good exit plan. There's no right one, there's no wrong one. There's just different, depending on what your goals are. So how do you make an exit plan? First, like I said, make sure you understand, there's no right or wrong answers, okay? Only different ones. Your strategy should fit your goals. I said that a second time on purpose because that's important. Don't take somebody else's strategy. Make sure it's a strategy that goes towards your goals, otherwise you'll sabotage them. The logical place then is to start is what are your long-term goals? Amazingly, 
and talk to 100 business owners and 95 of them don't know what their long-term goal is, okay? There are three things that you need to know before you begin. Where are you headed? When, you, when do you want to get there? And what do you want your business to look like when you get there? Those are all important. Where are you trying to go? When do you want to get there? Because it makes a difference if I got 20 years or five years. And what kind of business do you want it to look like, okay? Probably one of the best places I've seen discussing, um, you know, having an exit plan is read chapter 12 of the E-Myth Revisited by Michael E. Gerber. For He has an excellent discussion on exit strategy. He calls it your primary aim. There's another book out there called The Big Why, uh, Your Big Why, something like that. Um, if you can't find it, send me an email. I got the book here somewhere, and I'll, I'll be happy to tell you which one it is. Both of them are very good. This one here is simpler because it's just one chapter. Easy read, all right? Well, he has a few questions he brings up that will help you identify your primary aim. He says, one, with no clear picture of how you wish your life to be, how on earth are you going to begin to live it? So that's kind of important. What do you want this to do? And the business, if you're an entrepreneur, is a big part of your business, of your life. How would you know what first step to take if you don't know what your primary aim is? How would you measure your progress if you don't know where you're going? All right. Four, how would you know where you, where you were? How far along are you? <laughs> okay, what's your progress? Again, same kind of related, but not. Five, how would you, how would you know how far you've gone? Six, how, much, how would you know how much farther you have yet to go? That may be the key one. If I don't know where I'm going, it doesn't matter where I am because I don't know where I'm going to try to end up. You have, a pri you have a primary aim now. If you don't discover or try to work against it, you will sabotage yourself. Try to work against it. Try to work for it. You know, you will sabotage yourself every time. Discover it and work towards it, okay? And you will increase your chance of success dramatically. What I've seen over and over again is if you sit down and do what you need to do, if you can get your goals and your actions aligned, you're going to get there a lot faster. If you're trying to create a business and you hate that kind of business, you're going to sabotage yourself. I've been there. Okay, that's why we got rid of the bookkeeping side. Everybody's always like, hey, you can make good money doing that. It's monthly income. Yeah, I hate doing it, though. So, you know, it's not something I enjoy. Um, so create a business that you enjoy. And until next time, this is Wayne Blau saying, let's make this our most profitable year ever. Thank you very much.